Hello everybody, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to download and install Axiom for Minecraft Java. So, let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here all you wanna do is go to your search bar and search up mod rent, like so. Here just enter, and then you'll find modrinth.com, just click on modrinth, and then you'll be on the modrinth homepage. From there, all you want to do is go to discover content on the top of the website, and then you have to go to mods. Now, all you want to do is go to search mods, and you want to search up Axiom, like so, so Axiom, and then you have to click on the mods name, so Axiom here, and now you'll be sent to the Axiom homepage on Modrinth. So from there, all you want to do is go to versions, and here you want to go to game versions, and you want to choose any Minecraft version you want to play. I'm just going to select the latest one here. And here, all you want to do is find a release for your version, and it will be for Fabric. So here, just click the green download button once you have your version. And now, you're done with Axiom. Although, you do need one dependency, which is Fabric API. To get Fabric API, just click the version name here for your version. And now, scroll down, and you'll find dependencies here, Fabric API. Just click on the button, and here, you'll find versions. So just like before, click that button. And go to game versions and find your game version you selected for Axiom. Here, just select 1.20.5 if you did so, 1.20.4 for example, if you did so as well. I selected the latest one, so I'm going to do the same one for Fabric API. Here, all you want to do is find a release for your version, and it will also be for Fabric as well. So just click the green download button. And here, you're done with Modrinth. So all you want to do here is just go to a new tab, and then you want to go to your search bar. And you want to search up for Fabric Minecraft to run mods for Minecraft. So here once you enter, you'll find FabricMC.net. Just click on Fabric, and then you'll be on the Fabric homepage. From there, all you want to do is go to the blue download button, and now you want to go to the blue download for Windows button here. And now you have Fabric Launcher here. So that's Fabric here, you have Fabric API and Axiom. You want these three files here. Okay, so once you have this, you can go ahead and minimize or close your web browser. And then you can go to your file explorer to access your downloads folder. From there, all you want to do is find Fabric Installer and double click it. And here, it will just launch up the window like so. And for the Minecraft version here, just select what Minecraft version matches with your Axiom and Fabric API. And here, all you want to do is click install once you're done. Okay. And close. And now, all you want to do is just go to the Minecraft launcher. And from there, you'll be able to add the two mods to the mods folder. It's a new folder which is added with Fabric. So here all you want to do is once you have Fabric loaded here, you want to access the mods folder. To do so, you want to go to installation see on the top, then you want to go to Fabric Loader and go to the folder icon. From there, all you want to do is find the mods folder, then you want to double click the mods folder, and from there, you want to go to downloads, you want to select Fabric API and Axiom and copy the two mods, then you want to go to the top left arrow to go back to your PS folder, which is back to mods in most cases. And here you want to click paste. And here you have Fabric API and Axiom in .minecraft mods. This is the layout that you want. So once you have this layout, all you want to do is go back to the Minecraft launcher. Then you want to go to play. Make sure you have Fabric Loader here, which is selected, and click play. Here you will have to do understand the risks and click play again. And now you have to wait for Minecraft to open up automatically. Okay, and once Minecraft has opened, all you want to do is go to a single player world here. And then you want to go to an existing world or create a new one. I'll just create a new one here. And then you can go ahead and use Axiom. So it will tell you how to use it at first. So basically, here we're going to have a little tutorial here telling us to use left alt and right shift. These are the two main ones here. So I'll just do basically cancel here because we don't need any quick introduction here basically here we have a normal minecraft world and if you want to use axiom there's two windows there is basically the left alt which is this window here and this basically just lets you use some specific attributes to your gameplay such as adding more flight speed for example like so and changing game modes changing what you can edit and stuff like that have, these are all your inventories, basically your hardbars that you can just create, stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. I'll just put this back to 100%. 
But the main useful axiom is the right shift key. So here we have the tools here that we can go ahead and use to edit here. So all you want to do is do continue, 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 and continue. And now you can actually start using axiom. So just for a quick example, here we have some tools that we can use to edit. So for example, we can do gradient painter and that comes in a little ball like this. And here we have some blocks that we can go ahead and change. Like so, you can select every single micro block here. I'll do gold. And basically, you can just go ahead and just change anything you want basically. So that is kind of how this thing works. You can just go ahead and just edit everything like so, which is really, really cool. So yeah. That is basically Axiom. You can just go ahead and use different tools to do different things as well. So yeah, that is how we download and install Axiom for Minecraft Java. So if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.